Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for the main event. Let's go with our first competitor. Out of the blue corner, training in Austin, Texas, representing New Wave, Nicholas Marigali. Nicholas Marigali, the king of Gi Jiu Jitsu, makes his return to the Who's Number One stage in the Gi. Looking to prove a point here in Oklahoma City. Yeah, fresh off a double goal performance at the Pan Championships. Liked what he felt out there wearing the gi. Demanded a match at WNO, got what he wanted. And a tall order is in for him with the match against Pedro Mourinho. I'm excited, I can't wait. It's been a crazy night here. That co-main delivered, and I'm sure this is gonna do just the same. And out of the red corner, training in Houston, Texas, representing Gracie Barra, Pedro Mourinho. The current who's number one light heavyweight no gi champion, Pedro Mourinho, the submission master, stepped up to take on Nicholas Maragalli here at who's number one. Yeah, Pedro has no fear. Actually called out Nicholas Marigali for a no gi match, a gi match, didn't matter. He liked what he saw out there and he wanted to take it on. And he's got what he desires. So this is gonna be an interesting matchup. The opening exchanges will dictate a lot of what happens out here. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. All right, in this heavyweight battle, tail of the tape, Nicholas Marigali, 28 years old, six foot two, weighed in at 226.8 pounds. The number one spot in the gi at Flow Graphics rankings, Pedro Mourinho, 27 years old, five foot nine, 208.4 pounds. KJ Watson, what are you thinking as we enter this match here? I'm thinking there's a big size difference between these two. That's the first thing I thought when I saw them standing across from each other. Nicholas, obviously, you know, like, not just a limber, dynamic competitor, but a big competitor. Yeah, some of the questions lingering w w would be, would Nicholas work any judo? He's been showing that on Instagram, but- Oh my pulls goodness, oh my goodness! Pedro Marino pulls, oh my like, goodness! Pedro Marino dying for the back. There's no way! Where there's a will, there's a way, and Pedro Mourinho is working his way to the back of Nicholas Marigali, but Marigali is escaping his hips off. Marigali is just got one leg stuck in there. Pedro Mourinho's got his right hand on that collar. Can Pedro clear a path to get to the back position before Marigali escapes this position? Yeah, we saw a very similar exchange in uh, Marigali's match with Roosevelt uh, Souza at the Pan Championships where it looked like Roosevelt had a look at the back and then Marigali was able to flip the script. Something similar may be happening now, but a great opening shot from Pedro Mourinho. Yeah, that was, and I imagine that was probably part of the game plan as well as Pedro Mourinho likely coming in wanting to just make a huge splash right away, really just set the tone of the match. And he, now he finds himself in a really tough spot off of that attempt. Yeah, as Nicholas tries to free that leg, he's gonna be using a ton of top pressure. And you know, this is, once he escapes the leg, this is where you might see Pedro try to scramble and work his way back up to the top or Nicholas even look to get to the back. So watch to see what happens once that leg gets freed. Marigali working to correct his hips right there. As you see that, and now what a tough spot for Pedro Marino to find himself in. Marigali progressing to the opposite side now. Pedro trying to get up, but Marigali just dominant on top position now. Oh, but good job by Pedro Mourinho recovering back to his guard, but this is where the height difference comes into play. You can see right there, Nicholas, he stood up so tall, and it seemed like Pedro's legs just missed. The space was just too much that he was able to generate. We asked Pedro Mourinho about this match. He absolutely accepted in a heartbeat. He wanted this match. He wanted to dethrone the king of Gi Jiu Jitsu. He actually called out Marigali for a no Gi match in Pedro's last match, but he's got what he wanted, nonetheless, gi or no gi, he's fighting Marigali here in Oklahoma. Marigali working towards the back. The tables have definitely turned in this match. 
Pedro with that flash pass attempt in the beginning, looking to get to the back of Marigali. Now Marigali progressing to uh, S mount position there. He's got a nice control of that collar with the left hand, looking to dominate. There's definitely a, a difference in approach as well in the offensive positions. I mean, Pedro, it seemed like he, he really blitzes and he explodes, and Marigali is much more methodical. And I, I imagine even more so due to the tutelage of John Danner. You can see a lot of his competitors in the Nogi scene, very methodical competitors, you know, able to rip something in a heartbeat, but just, you know, very measured in their approach. Yeah, Marigali just dominating from the top here. But as I said in the pre-fight interview, if anyone has a chance to upset Marigali, I would not. I, it's not that I'm saying that Pedro's going to do it, but he absolutely could do it. If he gets to the right position, Pedro's guillotine choke, gi or no gi, is, is kind of like the equivalent to that knockout punch. You know, he's got the, he's so deadly with it. But at this point, Marigali in full mount, it's going to be really, really hard to get to that position. Yeah, looking for maybe the gift wrap there, looks like. Well, like I had mentioned in the pre-show, Marigali coming into this match with a 69% submission rate in gi competition. 44% of those come from the back. So Pedro turning his back, definitely turning into scary territory. Can't see from this angle what Marigali is, but he's definitely dominating from mount looking here. Looking for maybe a mounted triangle. Uh, potentially Pedro locks his hands. Marigali with the mounted triangle, as Chase Smith just called it. This is something we saw him posting about a lot, and this could be the beginning of the end, Chase Smith. Well, you see that little funky design on Marigali's back. Is that a little premonition of what he's looking for here? He's in a perfect position to do it. He's got a mounted triangle. Ange Pedro to Mourinho. See uh, John Danaher and Gordon Ryan in the corner. And Marigali just dominating from this position. Man, if Pedro Mourinho gets out of this, he is oh the my Houdini goodness. of jiu-jitsu. And it looks like judges favor the blue <gasps> athlete, obviously, Nicholas Marigali. Oh, oh, gets oh the my submission. goodness. Nicholas Maragalli putting a stamp on it. And the prediction was on his gi the whole time. You see him pointing. Winner by triangle. And that whole match, the whole crowd, I mean, you could even tell by our commentary, it was just stunned silence, just yeah. waiting for something to happen. And Maragalli wading through the silence into a perfect position to finish the triangle. Just a masterful performance in the gi. Yeah, just progressed from, you know, I can't say that he started from start to finish because at the beginning of the match, Pedro had a really nice uh, guard pass attempt. Let's take a look at that beautiful transition to the back. Marigali rolled, eventually worked his way to the top position, got the triangle from the top. Now he wants to go again. Pedro wants a rematch. <laughs> You gotta love Paige Mourinho, such a cool guy, great sport, the ultimate competitor. But today, it was all about Nicholas Marigali. We'll throw it to a referee and make things official here. And your winner is, by submission, out of the blue corner, Nicholas Marigali! And there you have it, the king of Gi Jiu Jitsu defeats Pedro Mourinho here at who's number one in the first Gi Who's Number One main event in quite some time. Nicholas Marigali looking to make the Gi great again. Great performance here against Pedro Mourinho, who's always a gamer here at Who's Number One. The current light heavyweight no-gi champion. But let's take it over to the king of Gi Jiu-Jitsu, Nicholas Marigali. Kick it back to Kendall Rusing for a chat with our winner. That's my prediction on my back. So I know the envelope, something cool, but I have to upgrade Gordon's style to give you prediction. This is why I'm attached on my back, some triangle. And right now he has to step up as well. You know, 
just keep doing, doing the work. Amazing. So in keeping doing the work, first of all, here's your submission bonus for that triangle. You're welcome. So in keeping yeah, doing the work, a part, I don't know if it's enough for a party for everybody, but maybe for you. Oh, we have more. Maybe we have more. <laughs> okay, good. So when you're thinking about keeping it going, right? You've been talking a lot about being the king of gi jiu-jitsu, being here, making gi professional again, bringing it back. What do you want to see on the Who's Number One stage? Are you looking to keep this going? Are you looking for more matches? What can we expect? Uh, we have uh, a random tournament happening in two, in two weeks. And apparently we're gonna have a new open class champion. And I'm betting right now $20,000 to fight against the next open class champion here at who's number one stage. So when you win your tournaments against your random fighters, so come over here and then we can figure who is the king of the gi, right? That is the plan. So yeah, just keep fighting against uh, the current champions that we have in the sport, um, just showing, uh, showcasing uh, uh, that my level is like way higher than everybody else in any situation, in any position. So this is why I'm not afraid about speak loud. I know I can hold my words and control the sport. So moving forward into having that $20,000 bet for the open class champion to fight here. What do you think the answer is gonna be? Do you think we're gonna see that match? Um, they're gonna try to find some businessmen to bet for them because definitely they don't wanna lose uh, uh, twenty thousand dollars. But it is what it is. I think flow grappling can help them to put some money on the table, and then we can make something exciting for the fans. Because if you just keep uh, competing like boring events in the gi, the sport can will never grow up. So we have to bring the same type of exciting. Uh, 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 BJJ, fuck, yeah. <laughs> so that's gonna be the plan, like bring, bring back the old style of doing math. So betting money, inviting people, talking shit, bring entertainment to the people. So it is what it is. So if you wanna make something special, we have to control the sport and put some uh, high emotions to uh, build something. Amazing, congratulations, Nicholas, on another beautiful performance. What a show we had here in Oklahoma City. Yeah. The first